2D parametric functionality has been enhanced in AutoCAD 2011, making geometric and dimensional constraints even easier to use. The Auto Constraint tool, which enables you to automatically apply geometric constraints, is updated to include the equal constraint. A new Infer Constraints control on the status bar automatically infers and applies geometric constraints as you create and edit geometry. For example, if you draw a rectangle without inferred constraints, it's nothing more than a four-sided polyline. When you edit a vertex, it loses its shape. If you draw a rectangle with inferred constraints, it automatically behaves as a rectangle should, maintaining parallelism and perpendicularity. You can individually remove any inferred constraints that you don't want, or apply additional constraints as needed. When you draw with object snaps, such as creating a circle at the center of an arc, inferred constraints ensure those points maintain their relationship. If the circle moves, so does the arc. Enjoy the same automated behavior when editing geometry with object snaps. For example, copying the circle to the center object snap of an arc infers a coincident constraint just like drawing the circle did. In addition to creating point-to-point -point coincident constraints with specific object snap points, you can use the nearest object snap to apply a coincident constraint between a point and an object. For example, if you move the midpoint of the rectangle to the nearest object snap of the center line, the rectangle has the flexibility of moving anywhere along the center line, including its virtual extension. Inferred constraints also apply to fillets and chamfers. Creating a fillet, for example, automatically applies tangent constraints between the arc and line segments. AutoCAD 2011 provides improved parametric support for ellipse and text objects. You can now apply parallel, perpendicular, collinear, horizontal, or vertical constraints between the major or minor axis of an ellipse and other objects. Similarly, you can apply these geometric constraints to text objects. In addition to the enhanced geometric constraint functionality, AutoCAD 2011 offers enhancements to dimensional constraints. When entering dimensional constraint values in place, you can click on an existing dimensional constraint to insert the constraint name. If a dynamic dimensional constraint references another parameter, an fx is included in the parameter name to alert you that it's dependent on other values. New tools on the dimensional panel provide you with more control over the display of dimensional constraints. Using the Show Hide tool, you can select the specific dimensional constraints you want to show or hide. For those drawings with many dimensional constraints, you can organize them into filter groups using the Parameters Manager. Create new filter groups and then drag and drop parameters from the list into an appropriate group. A new search tool enables you to easily find parameters with a specific name. 